What is up and welcome to this week 61 of the Manga Club. Uh, uh, how you've been? I, I know you've been good, so don't, don't even try to lie to me. Uh, this week, we are joined by Robert. Hey, yo. Sorry, one sec. There we go. We got Alyssa. What's up? With the booble. We got Cece. Hello. Uh-oh. And your gross host, as always, me. Uh, this week, we read A Girl on the Shore. Um, and I'm going to invite Robert to pronounce the Japanese name, so I'll stop butchering these. Uh, Umibe no Ononoko. Ononoko? Ononoko, that's how I had it. And it's by our guy, Ino Asano, as I am now committing to pronouncing his name. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what were the initial impressions before I give a little synopsis here? It wasn't bad. It moved at a fucking snail's pace, it felt, though. Yeah, I thought so, too. Really, at the heart of this, we had two people coming of age, sharing their loneliness with a subplot of um, the death of an older brother. There wasn't really much to tell. Oh, also, before we go any further, if this somehow is your deciding factor on whether or not you're going to read this story, there is some graphic sex depicted oh, yeah. between high school lot. students yeah Not a lot <laughs> like half of it yeah <laughs> like i don't think there need to be that much there's a bit much mm-hmm. like a lot of it could have been implied i feel yeah there's like full sections of pages that were like very close up very graphic and was like okay you know and above all even with the scat and the most graphic one when her face is just coarse with his load i was like that's far that's a bit much that's not even a yeah, joke like, for me yeah, that was yeah. like a line crossed yeah <laughs> there was two of two. yeah two lonely students figuring each other's bodies out using each other for pleasure however you want to look at it and then they had that panel and i was like well shit all right I would say one of them is using the other one for pleasure. Mm-hmm. She's using him for self gratification and feeling useful as a person after being fucked around by her ex. Oh, I don't even know if she can be called an ex. I think they just slept together. And he's like, I'll consider being your boyfriend if we sleep together. <clears throat> I think my very quick synopsis is friend zone but then you know reverse card is pulled <laughs> the, <laughs> the girl you're in the friend zone no, you. Sad, sad at the end yeah yeah not only that uh, the ending definitely felt a little abrupt i maybe a little undeserved yeah i didn't really understand like yeah. that whole last chapter just sort of i was kind of zoned out by then mm-hmm. yeah the manga ends it's one of the mangas that end with a title kind of thing. It's like After the Rain. Uh, the big reveal of After the Rain after 10 volumes is for her to say the big setup line, After the Rain. Hmm. Yeah, so actually I have to go back a little bit of chapters just to see if I was missing anything. Yeah, and you weren't. No, uh, she arrives on the shore. I think maybe she's okay with the broken heart and her loneliness and what she's been doing with our guy, Isobe. Excuse me. just to kind of realize she's okay and on the shore and she's like oh my god my happy place the shore and she's effectively a girl on the shore so why don't i give a synopsis we'll spin the wheel the wheel of truth and uh, we'll get into some panels <clears throat> uh with our low numbers this week it'll probably be a quicker episode but we'll see how things go you know what i'm saying sometimes uh sometimes okay I'm getting some soup delivered, so I mean, you know, y'all can watch me eat that. Soup, soup, soup. Yeah, I have to go help Cat with something. <laughs> I help well. Okay, I will drink faster then. One sec. <laughs> I was hoping it's going to be quick, but then we just sat here for half an hour doing nothing. As we do. <laughs> yeah, so today in the world, uh, I don't know what day this video will be uploaded, but it's July 5th, and we found out a golfer has been shot. So RIP to his family. That being said, the synopsis of the story, we have uh, two students, two students. Yeah, I guess they're like junior high students, right? Yeah. 
yeah, <clears throat> two junior high students sharing in their collective loneliness together with sex. Uh, Isobe has had a crush on the chick. Uh, oh God, Comey. I think so. Sato. Or, yeah. I've been calling her Sato. Sato? Oh shit, I might have got her last name. I'll just call her main girl. So Isobe has had a crush on this girl for quite some time, but now he's, yeah, like Alyssa said, reverse unuing her, telling her like, yeah, I don't give a shit about you. I just have a crush on you as all. Uh, this comes on the heels of her being used by a guy that she had a crush on. He had told her, you know, if we sleep together, I might consider dating you. And then she consents. The next day she talks to him about it. And he's like, you know, I like girls. I don't, I don't think he said Beyonce, but he said some kind of, oh, I think he said JLo. Oh, no, uh, Angelina Jolie. That's who it was. Angelina Jolie. He's like, I like girls like Angelina Jolie. You know, I can never date you. But if you want to suck my dick again, I think that's like an exact line. Yeah. If yeah. you blow me again, I'll consider it. So she's like, yeah, no thanks. He was straight up about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and on top of all this going on, because, yeah, it's a lot of the manga is just sex panels. Um, there is a side story where Isobe has a dead brother that slowly played out in the background. So her loneliness is immediately explained and his, I guess, gets played out. Did anyone else not give a shit about the other junior high student subplots? Yeah, not at all. Her friend, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> her friend, those girls, um, the one dickhead who's like, my, my family's Yakuza, you want to fuck around? He's like, you're a hillbilly. <laughs> That's all you are. <laughs> yeah, the story's definitely flawed, imperfect. Um, but uh, has a strong, authentic feeling to it because I think for everyone's first sexual encounters, it's nothing like the dream they had in their head of what it would be. Definitely hard to read at times and had a very abrupt ending. Consider checking it out and please enjoy these panels. All right. Starting with, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, we have the 10... <laughs> Millimeter hex bit, asthma and the pufferfish, Joy-Con the fourth, and face mask, specifically pink. Were these like random names that you just picked, or is there a random name generator? No, no, I picked these names. Ah. Who's uh, face mask pink is Robert. Any reason why? I have no idea why that would be the case. <laughs> Um, I looked to my right and there was a pink face mask. I'm like, all right, use oh, okay. face mask. And that, <laughs> laugh. that holds up. But I'm like, no, no, just face mask. And you know what? Face mask bracket pink. So yeah, so that's Robert. <laughs> and in case, uh, in case there was any question, I wrote down my my list. I don't. I'm not making <laughs> it's all up. meaningless, like, oh. Jeff. Like you don't. <laughs> uh, you gotta let me share a screen. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, why don't I make you host? Uh, would that stop the recording? Hold on. No. All right, we G. We G. All right, Alyssa. Damn. What? You can go ahead. I got immediately start with the meme panel. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the main girl. What's her name? Uh, I have down. Kome? Kome. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. Kome okay, so here's dope. your original one. Yeah, so... <laughs> Komi is pretty like dismissive of the main character's feelings pretty much the entire fucking time. So just why not just go full meme with it? <laughs> yeah, essentially the same thing. <laughs> no one missed me if I was gone anyway. <laughs> True. Or no, <laughs> laugh my ass off. <laughs> um, yeah. Just mood, you know? Like, you're just like saying words that don't really mean anything. <laughs> just uh... Oh, you know, I had to do it. <laughs> yeah. That is an exceptionally long neck. <laughs> Crack a whack. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's not the keyboard. That's just his neck fucking shifting to be that long. That is quite the library case behind him. Mm -hmm. I love the detail of that one book just being on a slant because he ran out of room. Yeah. Oh, I just thought the name of it was so fucking funny. Oh, I didn't see this. Yeah, it's called the Anal Boy. <laughs> I didn't see that either. It's like, how many fucking knuckles are on the Anal Man? 
<laughs> you think it's like a fallout thing or it's like <laughs> instead of the pit boy you get one of those it's like no no i want the thing on his arm like don't don't put me out in the wasteland like this i do love yeah, the flared just... bottom the de- the attention to detail by this author and this artist you know yeah, it's like you've yeah, wanna... seen a few of these in these days. Yeah. All anal toys should have a flared bottom, and if you're gonna improvise with a household object and stick a foreign object in your anal cavity, make sure it has a flared bottom. Don't want anything getting lost there. But also, like the naming scheme on that. If I was to go and buy a sex toy, I don't want like boy written on it anywhere. <laughs> but what if you're a like, child man. and you don't know what the <laughs> limits are? You need to know you need to start with the boy version We of can it. go for like the, the small. It's not <laughs> like, oh yeah, this sex toy will be great on a little boy. <laughs> if you got the asshole of a little boy, that's it. It's the animal boy. <laughs> will this tear after first use? Oh, that's you could what, yeah. just say small, right? Just... <laughs> But if you're a grown ass man, but you're physically small, I, I don't know. You need to <laughs> be demeaning. Like I'm a man. I want the <laughs> anal man. <laughs> oh, fucking anal boy. <laughs> oh, this parents... is just the most absolute gamer right here. This guy gets it. <laughs> yeah, when your parents come in your room, you know. Yeah, this guy's grinding W's on Fortnite for sure. I won't say names. Yeah. Um... We went to a friend's house, but it was like the merging of friend groups kind of thing. And uh, one dude sat down and like immediately checked the specs of the computer by hitting like whatever few keys and like bought up the my computer screen, whenever the fuck. And the other dude fully put him in a headlock and said, get off my fucking computer. And like, wasn't kidding. It was not a joke. It was definitely like, I, I need you to step back. You're in my space. Are you it's not naming names because it's someone who's been on the previous person on the cast? Yes. <laughs> Just a nice little panel. Oh, what was the uh, I didn't realize you said this the band they keep referencing? The uh, Happy End? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like threw on one of their albums and it's actually a really good listen. I was listening to it while I was reading it. I just had good vibes. Check it out. Yeah, what did we, le- what did we read? Uh... Shit. Recently I read a... Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm thinking of Rent-A-Girlfriend. They, uh, they mentioned Radwimps by name. Nice. But now I'm confusing. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, that was that was it. Just had good vibes, <coughs> and that's it. Oh no, there's another one. Yeah, so What's this is just there, sort yeah. of like how their <laughs> whole dynamic goes, right? Where it's just one guy just like not having a great time. It's like, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna take your shit, okay? Like, <laughs> and that's just sort of how the whole uncomfortable sort of dialogue between the two of them goes. I just about bought the drifting classroom, but I realized how many volumes are in it, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I, like if I get something and I know there's like 12 volumes, I will not buy it. Hmm. I can't commit. Except Haiku. Haiku has a cool art. <sighs> so I think you said earlier, but let's visit it one more time. What was your overall opinion of the manga, Robert? It wasn't bad. Probably like it's I don't think it's this guy's best work by any means. Yeah. And I I'm this came I'm, out 2013, like, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it uh, started 2009, ended 2013. Oh, fucking hell, there you go. Yeah, so like I'm just coming off of reading like Chainsaw Man, like I'm rereading it, and it goes a fucking mile a minute. So switching <laughs> from that to this is a bit pretty heavy change of pace. Oh for sure. Would you recommend this manga? Probably not. I don't really know who the demographic for this would be. Just Michael. I'm Online, pretty sure this... when I looked it up, it said adult men, which is weird because it's just like two <laughs> kids, just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think the adult men going into buying this know what they want. You know, this is actually recommended <laughs> to me by, oh, I'm going to have to look it up and shout the dude out because I, I know he subbed to us, but this was recommended to me. He even gave me a link that was affiliated with him. So he got like 15% of the money I paid to ship it to his credit account something like that to me i think it's like the demographic would potentially be like uh i'm not your regular manga reader i read uh edgy shit when you're a kid i read chainsaw man <laughs> actually <laughs> when you a a kid, on the side <laughs> i was reading um someone commented and they're like i think i'm a bit too young for this manga i do not like it <laughs> i think i might like it older <laughs> 
Simi has not only not posted a video in a year, but he has just shy of 500 subs. So this is the homie who recommended it. This is Simi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for those not subscribed, check him out. All he does is buy a fuck ton of manga and then show off what he bought. And I'm all about that. I understand girls who watch other girls' clothing haul videos. I get it. Because I have put in, holy shit, an hour and 20 minutes into this guy's channel. I have watched every video. It doesn't matter. Okay. Go sub Simi. <laughs> All right. Back to the wheel. The wheel of truth. Yeah. Hey, what'd you rate it out of 10, Rob? Yeah, I think a six to seven out of 10. Cool, cool. Very fair. You seem like you're in a good mood today. <clears throat> um, like you have soup on the way or something. <laughs> yeah. I say I'm like really fucking tired right now. <laughs> yeah, I had like the best depression map earlier. Just floored me. All right, who's next? Oh, holy shit, Jeff! Those fucking yeah, marks are them. a complete ride. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the ten millimeter hex bit. Any guesses? Um, are uh, the other two? Uh, Joy-Con the Force and Asthma and the Puffer Fish. Well, based on that like your... Help. <laughs> it's a based on... No, okay. Yeah, I was going to say Hex, <laughs> Ignite, and I can figure out who the last two ones are. No, you can't. <laughs> I figured me or Jeff were the Asthma ones. <laughs> Yeah, I had asthma initially as Robert. Then I was like, actually, no, Robert's just a smoker. He doesn't have asthma. Wait, Cece has asthma too. This could work. <laughs> uh, Let's just say an idea of a superhero named Asthma and the Puffer Fish. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Sounds like a band name. <laughs> Holy fuck. Like Hootie really and the definitely. Blowfish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's their younger cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, I got do that say for the manga, the, the art style is really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the backgrounds are really, really cool. I really like this. I like how, I think this was one of the first ones right at the beginning. I think we're attention. saying some of them are rotoscoped. I think that's the word for it. Most of his work is rotoscoped. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun... Um, Absolutely gorgeous. The creation of the art style. And you see, like, he does a lot in, uh, especially in other art world, he'll have, like, really strange uh, viewpoints. Mm hmm Where just having that rotoscope helps a lot. Mm hmm I imagine. Uh, this one, they're having interaction at school. <coughs> they still don't really acknowledge, acknowledge each other at school. It was just a cute interaction. Mm-hmm. I go right into the uh, why main character is kind of a piece of shit. I can't take it. Seeing you happy, it's simply not you. <laughs> right at the end, <laughs> when uh, he does a completely 180, um, dude looks like he's about to kill himself. She freaks out, goes to try and stop him, save him, or whatnot. Finds him a few days later being super happy. Like, oh no, I ran into that girl that I uh, was obsessing over who I found a picture of. Asked her out. She gave me her email address. Now we're talking. I'm going to be changing my life around to try and go to her school. <laughs> and she's like, I can't take it. Seeing you happy. <laughs> <laughs> they were sharing in each other's loneliness, and he's breaking the cycle. But yeah, he is a piece of shit. Let's not let's not get that fucked up. Yeah, he switched around so quick after just seeing her. Mm -hmm. yeah, was it like he took a picture of her tits or something like that? And he's like, her boobs are so big. No, he found a yeah, like an SD, an SD card. card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why the he had that flip out moment of like, "Don't touch my computer," because she deleted that picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this was really funny. Um, why is she? So yeah, I think this they had like a big uh, argument again after. He found out that she deleted the picture, was talking to him for a while. She goes away on some trip, comes back, wants to see him. 
Oh, yeah. I would ask. The PSP answer. I would ask who throws a PSP, but the answer yeah. is Michael. Michael had a PSP in high school and threw it. He threw it. I'll let him defend himself one day, though. <laughs> I feel like that would hurt a lot more than how they showed it in the manga. Yeah. She just rubbed her head. Some cute <laughs> I feel like it would hurt like... more. PSPs weren't light. <laughs> no, they were. They were like big honking things. Especially those weird discs. I gotta like crack two things just to open the bag. Like, and feed in some weird disc and snap it in place. They were built to last. Uh, I think, yeah, this is just another really pretty one. In particular, I like how the shading was in terms of the lighting. It's done really well. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That could be like a rap uh, album cover. I just found her face, one of her friends, just looks really fucking off there. <laughs> like all of a sudden, she turned into like a 40 year old woman. Again, I don't give a shit about whatever was going on in the subplots with the friends, but that one caught me off guard when I seen it. Uh, okay, so with the brother, is it was it insinuated that he like drowned himself and it was an accident, but then brother, uh, younger brother knows it was a suicide? Yep, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, that's how I interpreted it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because he kept he keeps getting these flashbacks. Yeah, his brother really left a note on the computer, but then he deleted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're like, something about the police deemed it accidental. Brother, little brother blames himself. Uh, just another pretty panel. More neck. I was going to say a long yeah. neck. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was just a hangout mood. Fun angle. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. Wait, got this. So what was your overall impression of the manga? No, it wasn't the greatest, but also not the worst. Was it a nice change in pace or has the last three weeks been a bit of a bummer manga club wise? <laughs> Uh, well, no, it's been on par with what we've been reading in terms of overall, not your typical happy bubbly manga. I mean, it might be that just because we've done like three weeks worth of this, that it might not hit as hard. <laughs> yeah, very true. <clears throat> and what would you rate it? Nah, I'll put it on like five. I wouldn't even ask if you're going to recommend it. I like it's, it's pretty, <laughs> mm -hmm. but again, sex scenes are a little bit overdone. <laughs> oh, yeah. not, it was a little bit unnecessary. Very true. All right. Especially with how slow everything goes. It could have been it's... like maybe 10 chapters versus 20. Yeah. <laughs> they could have taken some of those sex chapters and elaborated on the ending a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or putting more effort into the side plot character. So you actually gave a shit about what happened to them at the end. I mean, they sleep together once, get separated into new classes in the new school year, and immediately fuck in a washroom. Mm -hmm. That was a weird. That was a weird point for me. Yeah. Because especially that one chick catches them, she sees like a con or the condom wrapper on the floor, and she's like, on the phone with someone like, eh, it's nothing. Just students getting their fuck on. All right, let's share the screen. Again, please ignore my bookmarks, and we're off. Looking like asthma and the puffer fish. No, we got Joy-Con the fourth. Golf clap. That's Cece. I am asthma. Mm. Aren't you giving yourself the cool name? I am the <laughs> asthma. <laughs> you know, literally, I glance around there and there's a Joy-Con, there's a used face mask, there's a 10 millimeter hex bit, and I am the asthma. <laughs> My puffer's right here. Originally, it was asthma and the puffer, and then I thought fish was funnier. Okay. Mood. At first, um, 
the scarf in the left I thought it was like a figure or something so on our next panel there's like nothing happened so I went back and I had to look at it again I'm gonna go into the scarf yeah, something's like sneaking up behind her yeah <laughs> <laughs> also look at quick the size of that ear yeah quick the ear Oh, I've been watching a lot of true crime lately, especially with people like Martin A. True Crime. So it's like all these shut-ins and stuff. So I was like, he's going to kill someone. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I just thought this was really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these panels I can just stare at. And then again, when I saw this, because um, like I've been watching a lot of true crime, they're always like, they hate people in the world. So I'm like, this guy's going to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> like second round flag. Putting your true crime knowledge to work looking in the bathroom. Like, you see that person in the window there? Yeah, that's his next victim. Well, we like, didn't technically send at least two people to the hospital, two or three people. Yeah, the two people who in the alley, I think it was, and the one dude on the stairwell. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he has, he's, he's close. <laughs> Working towards his body count, just like slowly graduating. I think if she wasn't there, I think he would have done it. <laughs> oh, I was going to be horrible. He's like, maybe four if you include his brother, but that's a little dark. <laughs> Moving on. Started with the brother. Everyone thought the Yakuza drove him to suicide. I just thought this was funny because this is like yeah. every time Jeff calls me for a ride, I'm like, I'm just watching anime. I'll come after my episode's over. <laughs> that's it. Really? You're watching anime, Cece? I have a video. I think Cece's driving. We were just <laughs> we're like leaving the beer store and I'm singing uh, some TLC shit. Like, passenger side of my best friend's ride, trying to follow at me. But it was like right when Cece got her license. <laughs> like finally a DD. Okay, sorry, we can go on. Oh, they made a lot of references to like bands and stuff, and I actually know a bunch of chickens. So that was cool. Um, give me one second. Alyssa, take over if needed. Mm-hmm. And I just thought those shirts were ugly. They're just hideous. <laughs> I don't know if they're bands or something, but those are ugly shirts. Or one of those shirts that gets translated to English, but not quite right. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? This will love him. Yeah. You will love him. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Standard question. Would you recommend this one, Cece? No. <laughs> <laughs> for the obvious reason. <laughs> and I probably rated it a five or six. I think there's way too many sex scenes. I feel like if they cut them, there'd be like 12 chapters maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's like a way too much. Like I got into like the like 16th or 17th chapter and I'm like, holy shit, how is this not done yet? <laughs> we get it, these kids fuck. Mm-hmm. God. Yeah, I explained to this person, I was like, uh, the manga Orange took me for a ride, and I'm looking for something with the same vibe, and he's like, you have to read A Girl on the Shore. So I'm like, this is the thing, though. I don't want to read online anymore. I want the physical copies. I'm going to start my bookshelf. This thing I've always wanted to do since I was a teenager. I got adult money. Let's do it. And yeah, my, yeah Rafe, following Orange, like my 2016, no, sorry, my 2017, like re-emerging of love for anime and manga. And then I read A Girl on the Shore. I'm like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> so, Cece, what would you rate it out of 10? A five or a six. Is that why you chose this one, Jeff? Just because... <laughs> what? So you're just like saying about like oh. having like not read manga for a while just to go straight into Girl on the Shore. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, that's funny. <laughs> Actually, I'm the one who asked him. I was like, dude, what the fuck was up with the whole scat part of it? And he's like, what's scat? So I explained scat is like when you eat shit for sex play. And he's like, that that doesn't happen. I'm like, uh, go to fucking chapter 15 and read it again. So he did. He's like, holy shit. I did not catch that at all. 
I am so sorry, dude. I would have never recommended it. I'm like, well, hold on a second. Scat your line? These kids have been fucking the whole book. <laughs> you recommended it and got a kickback for recommending it. I the shit, so, dude. I feel so bad if no one read it and they're watching this and they just hear that. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why they need to do the kickback thing. He needs to recommend it because he gets that kickback. Yeah, I think it's a book depository you can make an account and you automatically receive if people use your reference link um 10 percent into a credited account on your own shit hmm. uh he's also the same dude though who recommended uh all you need is kill ah. so following this yeah so at that point i was like 50 50 and i can't remember the last manga he recommended but after the third one i was like all right no more i'm sorry simmy but no more <laughs> Uh, and what was your overall opinion on the manga, CC? Less sex, and what else? Um, I don't know. I didn't like it. It was the pacing was bad. Very. I fun. don't think I can add any more. What's been said? All right, let's go to the wheel. The wheel of truth. One last time. This is asthma and the puffer fish. Yeah, and it's just you. You don't need to do this. <laughs> read hardcore leveling something. It's a manhwa. Hardcore leveling hero? That's the one. And ignore Alyssa's thumbnails. Yeah, Jeff has this weird thing where he just like takes pictures of my thumbnails specifically and just hides them. <laughs> yes, I, do. Yes, I, do. I have a whole google drive dedicated to it this is also a pokemon heart gold soul silver walkthrough for those who don't know what that is okay. and that's the only one you're going to bring attention to you're not going to explain oh shit my internet's cracking no i thought that was the listen? black link anyways It was a really day, funny day. point for the internet to cut, but yeah, everyone went silent. But I know you were bringing Oh, attention. no. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were bringing attention to that pH link I had there. Uh, I don't well, yeah. know why it's there, and I don't know how to get rid of it, out. but I promise I've never clicked it before. <laughs> it's a Pokemon Black walkthrough. Yeah, yeah, the pH link is Pokemon Heart Gold. That's what that is. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> My opinion of the manga. Uh, like I said, it was off the heels of Orange. Orange probably will be up there with one of my all-time favorite ones. Um, as far as this manga, I didn't like it too, too much, but I did like the way the author was depicting loneliness. He just didn't need to use teenage kids fucking to do it. Um Although, again, thinking about my own experiences, there is a level of authenticity to it and a grittiness to it, for sure. Um, oh, no. But yeah, again, they're, they're kids, so I don't want to see that shit. Anyways, this panel was chosen. Um, this kid was egging this fucker on for a while. And this is after he called uh, this Yakuza family-connected bitch a hillbilly. Um, the fight gets broken up he goes by the stairwell and I can't remember exactly what he says to trigger this dude but he just fucking uh, tackles was, him and they it was flip something over the like oh I tripped and fell no way that he would do this he doesn't want to ruin his um, only good thing going for his life with his baseball or something yeah like the baseball is <laughs> yeah. the only thing he has yeah. <laughs> yeah. he wouldn't he's dare an, do anything to ruin that he's just an athlete he has nothing else so he fucking tackles him and they flip over the shit together this is after they were caught um i guess short-haired kid beating down isabe pretty badly uh but the detail i like is uh this kid tackled him immediately started crying and there's already a tear flying as they fall mm -hmm. i love that detail that's phenomenal and just his like non-expression of yeah, <laughs> this again. Am I finally gonna die at the hands of the yakuza the same way my brother did? This was a cute moment. Uh, this was I think after Rob's memes he was sharing about how if I die, no one give a shit. Eventually they come to a point where she's like, yeah, if you die, I won't care, but please stop talking about death and stuff, 
and he thinks that's cute. So she holds his hands and she apologizes and she says, um, I think I'm being selfish when I ask you that, but stop. And then they end up cuddling together for the first time. Oh, okay. I just explained the title in reverse order. Mm -hmm. That's a story if it was selfish of me. Okay. <coughs> Same panel, Robert Sherry. This is actually a, across two pages. And I thought I had the physical copy somewhere. Oh, here it is. One sec, this is the end of chapter eight. Shit, I cropped out the page number. It looked really good in the book. Here it is. Yeah, so this little page that I cropped looks like this in the manga. Right across two pages. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're going to keep uh, depicting loneliness, but more than a rainy day where everyone just wants to quickly get inside our home and no one's making eye contact, no time to stop, no bullshit, just that. Yeah. So I'd actually rate it a little higher. I'd probably give it like a six and a half, seven. Um, but I'm aware that's being generous. Uh, any opinions? I have it. Yeah, I think it ended abruptly. Um, but the artwork, so goddamn beautiful. As far as the story goes, it's kind of, I don't want to say non-existent, because once you're wrapped in it, you're wrapped in it. And the first time I read it, a little on the fence about it, but I've actually read this probably four times now. Uh, including this most recent read through and I've warmed up to it a little more. Um, once you've seen a sex scene, you can essentially just flip through it. And I focused a lot more on the text of this read through than and, uh, the text and the panels this read through. Hmm. So that's my take on it. Any other everlasting opinions? How is the soup, Rob? Not bad. <laughs> what is the soup? Is it pastrami? Tell me that's pastrami. No, I think it was like a ministry. Oh, shit. Go in Italian. Yeah. Manga related, I got nothing. Do we nothing. think this would work as a 12 episode anime? <laughs> if half of the episodes are just like sex. a six episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a movie with no sex scenes. Maybe a short movie. Yeah, it wouldn't be that <laughs> long of a movie. That'd be like again one of those movies that has like the long, drawn out, atmospheric scenes mm -hmm. of like the beach and like the one that you're just had up there. I will forever say that Beck blew its budget on those guitar playing scenes and the music scenes because the animation scenes leave a little bit to be desired, but they're still able to create such a strong atmosphere around it. If this manga were adapted to an anime, I'd hope that'd be what they go for. What, what, what do you think the music would be? The music that they'd reference in the... I mean, I really like listening to Happy End while I was reading it, so... Happy what? Happy End? Oh, it's reference in the... Oh, oh yeah. so we can find the video there well might as well get banned in north korea cuba and where else are we banned manga club banned in cuba uh just one of our videos <laughs> right. which, which video i, I think will's room yeah because we were going through a whole bunch of different uh we were watching tiktoks and one of them was that um crazy song by Narles Barkley and I guess <laughs> banned in North Korea Cuba and one other place so Good old Kim is not a fan of Narles <laughs> Barkley I guess <laughs> but yeah I linked the uh, the album there in the chat you guys let's, want to go listen after yeah. anyway let's, let's wrap this week up we conclude week 61 of the Monk Club uh, for Amy, fuck, oh, I really gotta work my pronunciation. I gotta take a class, I swear to God. Robert, please pronounce a Japanese name. Um, 
Umi be no Ononoko. Or as the English translation says, A Girl on the Shore by Eno Asano, who is definitely one of my more preferred mangakas. I have been joined... <coughs> sorry, I chipped over that sentence. I've been joined today by Robert Cece, co-host Alyssa, and I'm your host as always, Jeff. We'll catch you next time. Oh, hey, uh, please subscribe. We're somehow casually getting more subscribers, and I don't know if the YouTube algorithm finally picked us up as like a manga club anime-related channel, but it's kind of cool. So slap us a sub, please. <laughs>